Today we got an old MTV show. This is a recording. <laughs> this is someone's direct TV recording. Someone, someone tiva would this for us. Date My Mom, an old MTV show. We've watched a ton of MTV shows on my various channels. The old, like, way too scripted reality shows. And today's is gonna be no different than that. This one's, this one's called Date My Mom. Mom left. Starts with a solid three seconds of silence. Thank you, direct TV. Plus, convince me that their son is the boy for me. I mean, the guys who are hot, not guys who think they're hot. Time to date these mothers and find me a lover. Okay, so he's a gay man and he is dating his potential suitor's mother, is what's happening here. Got it. Let me just run, run that tagline back. Time to date these mothers and find me a lover. Time to date these mothers and find me a lover. Time to date these mothers and find me a lover. You think like he did that and the director was like, fuck it up a little more. Be, just be weirder. That was good, but he was like, time to date these mothers and find me a lover. And they were like, uh, I mean, that one works for sure. Let's just get another one for safety and just like kind of be fucking weird for this one. Just be weird as fuck. Just be fucking weird as fuck for this one. Time to date me a lover and find me a mother. Perfect. <laughs> Hell yeah, we got a Redditor. Redditor personified. I'm Diana, I'm 49. I'm Josh and I'm 21, and we're gonna win because we're freaky. I've been married for 28 years and I have four great kids. I used to be a go-go boy, so I can dance, twist, and bend into any position you'd like me to be in. <laughs> I'm a proud mother. Damn, my boy's got the whips out and everything. I guess when I said Redditor, I was kind of looking at the top hat, but it appears I've misjudged this man. He seems to be an absolute freak. Yes, I'm into bondage. And if this boy picks me, I'll show him some freaky I hope these other moms are ready to get spanked. All right! You just spank your own mother? What style of TV is this? I used to watch these shows and enjoy them. How did they even find this style? That... How did they even like figure out that this works? Like that was so weird, that little clip right there. All right! Whoosh! All right! Like, like how did they even first come up with that? My ass hurts. This is gonna be stellar. Bring on mom number one. Tell them that we're not the stereotypical family. You know, we're the Bundys, the Osbournes, Roseanne, all into one. All into one, you got it. What if he asked me how many sexual partners you've had? What's your body count? It's the early 2000s version of what's your body count. How many sexual partners do you have? It doesn't even begin to describe it. Walked around the block, have you? Okay. Walked, run, bent, twist, name it. <laughs> All right, okay. Village bicycle, everyone's had a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, let's just get you shaking your head, like really just fucking, just so we could cut that in super abruptly right there. Perfect. Do you want me to talk about the bondage a little bit, do you? Well, why not? What do you want me to tell him? That I'm the master, he's the bitch. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. Okay, gotta go. Okay, give me a hug. So natural, you know? I love how this is just so... You can tell it's like just kind of... Like they're just putting these people in this situation, just kind of letting it roll, you know? It's nice. No, nice to see some actual reality TV for once. Go get him! Woo! Stuff like that, you know, supernatural. Hey. Hi. Hi, I'm Diana. I'm Jeremy. Nice to meet you. So where are we going? Um, I'm really into vintage cars, so we're going to a car hop. Oh, a car hop. Okay, sounds That was super convincing. Super convincing. You can tell he actually really loves vintage cars. Nice to meet you. So where are we going? Um, I'm really into vintage cars, so we're going to a car hop. <laughs> um, I'm really into... Vintage cars, so we're going to a car hop? What the fuck is a car hop? Is that like a car meet? What are the odds? Another car meet date. <laughs> That's two videos in the span of like a week where they went on a date to a car meet. Maybe I gotta fucking start going to more car meets. Seems to be the place where shit's going down. Take my wife out to the car meet? Why not? Oh, a car hop. Okay, sounds good. I'm ready to go. Should I mention to Diana that she forgot her shoes? Jeremy's cute. Josh would bone him. <laughs> <laughs> My son would definitely fuck that guy. My dirty little son would definitely fuck the sh dog shit out of that guy. It's 
to fit in at a vintage car hop, you've got to have a vintage car. I mean, this is the most Huntington Beach shit I've ever seen in my entire life. All the way down to the fucking Beach Boys song playing right now. So this is Gloria. She's a 69. It's my favorite year. Sick I'm not surprised. So you ready to learn some swing dancing? I oh, my son would fuck the shit out of you. Oh my God, he's gonna 69 you so hard. You guys are gonna be sucking each other's dicks right off each other's bodies. I am ready. There you go, there you go. So do your feet hurt it off from this? Oh, hell no. I... She just said not had shoes on the whole time. Why? Never wear shoes. My feet are a shoe. Oh, that's why. Okay, thank you. Is this what a car hop is? People swing dancing by a diner? Is that what it is? Because if so, maybe I'm not going to go to one. Bottoms yeah. like leather. Let's take a break and have a milkshake and talk about your son. Sounds awesome. Perfect. I still got it. That's right. That's right. Put some fucking shoes on, Diane. So what's your son's name? Josh. Tell me what I should know about Josh. He likes to go dance. Wait, I love that they're sitting in this car, but it's not his car. He didn't drive it there. He just pointed at it and was like, this is my favorite year of car. And now they're sitting in it. I hope the owner comes up and is like, uh, yo, what the fuck are you doing? You guys can't film a reality show in my car without asking me. Hanson, do a little bondage. He's got a shirt that I refer to as just a couple of headbands, really. Tell me what Josh looks like outside of the bondage clothes. Outside the bondage clothes, Josh is very, very tall, 6'2". Perfect, perfect body. Um, he has a big, giant... Weird thing to say about your son. Perfect body? That's a weird way of saying that, isn't it? Fucking sexy-ass body on that guy. Didn't come from his dad, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> no, my son's body is perfection. Black coat that he wears and people call him Neo because he looks like Keanu Reeves. I'm strangely turned on right now. Does he go out of... <laughs> I'm strangely turned on right now. Nope, weirder. Come on, man, we, we know you got it in you. Do it weirder. I'm strangely turned on right now. Nailed it. You got, you got it, Josh. If that's your name, I forget. Whatever it is, you have it, my friend. You're gonna be a star. On a lot of dates. He doesn't really date, per se. He's got friends, he'll bring somebody home. You know, I said, so who's that? I'll say, it's just a friend, which means he bones him. But that's his friend. That's interesting, yes. to say the least. Sometimes there's a residue that, you know, marks that somebody was his Come? Are you talking about come? Friend. Ah. Just I asked him, would he tell me how many people he's had sex? She said marks, so maybe. Oh, from the whip, from the bondage and the whips and stuff like that. Oh, I thought she's saying he's like coming home with cum all over himself. That guy was not your friend, was he? He was a little bit more than your friend. You came, you came home covered in cum again. You're drenched in cum, dude. It's within the past month. Yes, sir. I think he said infinity. But I think he said. How about you? Crazy body count. Infinity. I'm conservative. Oh, f me. Josh has got a lovely whip. Makes a really awesome sound. He just likes to slip it in the air. Makes a cool noise. You a good bitch? No. What the hell? What the hell? Ah! Are you a good bitch? Put that on a shirt, damn. Are you a good bitch? Just wondering if you'd make a good little bitch for my son. I'm looking for a sub for my son, for my dom son. Would you submit to my son's every desire? Any special talents? Well, actually, he used to dance for hire. He was a go-go boy. Do you think you could show me some of his moves? <laughs> A bit of Josh. Oh, he'll do more than that. He'll suck your fucking dick right off your body. He'll have you going home covered in cum. A little bit of Josh. A little bit of Josh. A bit of Josh. Oh, she's showing him the moves. Right. <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, boy? Well, you've made him out to sound like he's a really fun time. But are you ready to go back to the house? I am. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. This whole date was kind of a blur. Did I say anything bad? I had a really good time. Me too. No, you were pretty well behaved, honestly. <laughs> you are pretty vanilla the whole time. Bye. Bye. Josh sounds dominant. Even that wave was un... Bye. 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 Ding. I don't know if I can submit to that. On to mom number two. Hey. On him on number two. Hey. Mom, hey, what's up? 
Tell me everything. Everything in green. Okay. Gray. Pool table is just covered in cum. He's like, I don't even, sorry, I don't even know why I'm trying to play this. It's just covered in too much cum. Balls don't even really move. Great detail. His name's Jeremy. He took me to a car hop. We went swing dancing. That's cool. He wanted to know how you dance. So I kind of danced on him a little bit. I was leaning back, giving him some stuff. Mom, I should have told you I get first touch. Did you talk about the bondage at all? Well, he didn't seem to be as experienced as you, and he's not quite as inventive as you. Oh, I have to break him out of his shell. There you go. Sweet. I can count on you. Mm. Okay. So this guy is a Redditor. Still, he's just like a he's like a freaky redditor, you know. Damn, why are we kind of wearing the same fucking fit? <laughs> Me and this dude, look at the colors are the same. <laughs> I just looked in the viewfinder and was like, oh fuck, ah oh, man, I can't be ripping on this dude. We're wearing the same fucking fit. Damn it! But he is kind of a redditor, isn't he? Like, in between the sort of like freaky, like I'm gonna whip him and stuff like that. The mmm. Mmm, looks like I'm gonna have to break out of his lechelle. Up goat for you, my good sir. So I think I told him everything you wanted me to say. I think it was perfect. I love you. Like Mary Poppins, perfect. We got it, we got it. Love you. Love you more. Love you more. Love you more. Love you more. I'm Christine and I'm 51. I'm Nick and I'm 19. And I'm gonna kick these mother's asses for real. I've been married for 20 years and I got three wonderful kids. I'm not really into sex. I know that's weird, but whatever. I know this guy's gonna pick us because my mom's the You heard? <laughs> oh my God, Jesus Christ. You heard? West Side? LA, you heard? These mothers better watch out for sizzle. <laughs> Mom number two, get ready to shoot him up. First thing, what's up with the rap? What's going on here? What's, what is happening? Get ready to shoot him up. <laughs> get ready to do a drive-by with cum. <laughs> and then I want you to ask him is if he prefers Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera. Cause Christina Aguilera. Oh, Chris Dizzle Aguilizzle? <laughs> Ooh, be really loud, be funny, and talk ghetto. For she is what, what? Oh my God, this is so bad. This is so bad. Uh, oh, oh snap, yeah. Why did they make this? I don't know, what's, what's her character trait? Maybe she's like racist. Okay, okay. What am I gonna tell him about your job situation? Please don't tell him that I don't have a job. I'll look like such a freaking loser. Tell him that my job is to chauffeur people around. I think that's pimp. Make sure you also let him know too that I'm not all that into sex. So ask him if he's all about sex or if he really wants a serious relationship and just let him know that I'm here for a serious relationship and not just- Yeah, not just sex. I'm trying to keep it G-rated. <laughs> G unit. That's what that. Yeah, that's what that was. It's a hookup. For real? Why is she? They haven't explained why she's doing that. Why is she a fan of rap music? Is that what's happening? Dude, dude, dude. He's here. Remember everything I told you. Okay. Okay. You got this. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Christine. Hi, I'm Jeremy. So where are we going? Uh, today we're gonna go stir up some trouble as Bonnie and Clyde. Sounds good. Let's go. Let's go. What does that mean? So we're gonna go stir up some trouble as Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> I'm gonna start talking like that. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna stir up some trouble and watch another dating show. Christine looks harmless. I hope she knows how to get gangsta. Jeremy's off the hizzy. What, what? <laughs> I need to I need to run that back. This is hysterical. Jeremy's off the hizzy. What? 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 What was your son's name? Nicholas. Wow. What are we gonna be doing? Well, I'm really into old Hollywood movies, so I thought we would dress up as Bonnie and Clyde. Cool. Cool. Check this out now. You look great. Shoot, I look sexy as hell. I'm gonna take.
A picture of you in front of the car. Sounds good. Let's do it. Make it provocative for me. Ooh, I can be very provocative. Take that shit off, mama. Shit, boy. Think it. I don't really understand. Like Bonnie and Clyde is like '30s gangster, so they're being like vintage gangsters, but then also mixing that with like sort of like racist '2000s rap speak gangsta. What the fuck is going on? It's time for us to take a picture together. Put your arms around me, baby. Oh! <laughs> Let's hop in the back seat. Are you trying to get frisky with me? Only if you want me to. Ooh. No, I'm actually gay. So, no, I'm not, I'm gay. Here with your son, remember? Oh, that's right, forgot all about that. Silly straight woman. Silly straight woman, dicks are for me. That was a great shoot. Let's go talk about Nick. Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Would you like some cider? Yes, I would. Oh, I got a question to ask you. Who would you prefer, Christina Aguilera or Britney Spears? Christina, by a long shot. Okay, well. I like it dirty. Nick really has a thing for Britney Spears. He really <laughs> thinks she's hot. A gay guy who likes Britney Spears? Shocker. So what does Nick do for a living? He's a, a chauffeur. Where at? Where at? Um, in a limo? The fuck, what do you mean, where at? The roads? Dumbass? What kind of a fucking question is that? He works for, um, like, taking people wherever they want to go. Yeah, there you go. Fucking boom. Nailed that. You know, wherever. Does he have a lot of goals? Right now, he, he doesn't have, you know, the goals as far as, um, as far as I know, is doing anything right now. <laughs> What a, what, a, what a fucking weird way to put that. Right now, he doesn't have the the goals as of things to the goals to strive towards. He's not do he doesn't have those at all right now. So per se. <laughs> all right. Um, I have a question to ask you. Um, are you into are you into sex a lot? What do you mean? Like having sex. Are you having it and enjoying it and doing it and fucking and so on and so forth? To that or? I've had sex before, but I wouldn't say I'm into just sex. Because um, my son says that, you know, he's not into that part of it. Yeah, so what I, he just, you know, I. Has Nick ever had sex before? No, he hasn't. A gay virgin? He's a gay goalless virgin? I've never heard of that. Well, you made a really frisky Bonnie and I had a great time with you on our date. But are you ready to head back to the house? Sure enough, let's get going. That wasn't even, she just did like head movements with that one. Sure enough, let's get going. I had a lot of fun with Jeremy. I hope he picks Nick. I had a really great time on our date. And so did I. And this is for my son to you. Oh, that's sweet. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Christine was all. What, what? But her son sounds kind of, what? On to my next mom date. Poetic, honestly. The fucking poetry they write for this show, honestly. That said so much without saying anything. It's amazing. Nick, Nick. Mom. I had such... <laughs> I didn't even hear you come in. I was just busy playing this tiny little accordion. Like, the writers were like, what a virgin... The writers for this fucking... Like, was it intentionally bad? That's what I want to know. What do gay nerd virgins do? What could he be doing when when the mom could, gets back? Oh, what about fucking playing a like nerdy little accordion? Oh yeah, that's fucking virgin as hell. Oh my god, what a fucking loser! A great time. Let me tell you. What's his name? His name is Jeremy. We did a photo shoot, and he dressed up as Clyde, and I got to dress up as Bonnie. Did you make me look better than I was? Like I told you, did you make sure you told him every lie? I told you to tell him that I had a job, and that I'm like such a tight little kid, kid, like and stuff. I have him believing that you were. A driver and <laughs> a little, chauffeur, yeah, big pimpin'. Yeah. Are you on Adderall, sir? Most important thing of all, though, did you ask him, Brittany or Christina? 
I asked him oh, what is the it? The answer was I'm gonna die. Stop, stop, stop. My heart is panting. Answer was I'm gonna die. Stop, stop, stop. My heart is panting. Okay, he's on meth actually. Christina. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so do you think he'll think that I'm sexy? I think he'll think you're hot. I love you, Mom. I love you too, son. All right, you trying to smoke some more dust with me or what's good? Hi, I'm Janet, I'm 47. I'm Daniel and I'm 18 and I'm one hot piece of ass. I've been married 18 years and I have three terrific kids. <laughs> Daniel loves his DDR. Daniel is so happy and loving, and he loves to please people. <laughs> I'm a brown belt in Taekwondo. He'll kick your ass. Daniel's a great kid, but he's a little cocky. Cocky? Damn right I am. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Crazy ass fit. So 2000s. I, I love that the character trait they landed on for him was loves his DDR. I guess we all did back then. I fucking had that one. That literal literal one right there. You plugged it like into Xbox or whatever. I had that. This is getting nuts, but I'm ready. Bring on mom number three. What do you want me to tell him? Tell him I like hairy guys. Why on earth do you like hairy guys? <laughs> I don't know, because it's fun to play with. Uh, like it's fun to touch and run my hands through. I've been telling you about your dad for years. <laughs> uh, mom, don't say that. <laughs> I braid his back hair like he's a little girl. I get lost in your dad's forest, let's just say that. I weed through your dad's bush like a fucking gardener, son. Ha! <laughs> also ask him if he's uncircumcised, too. And why is that important? We'll just make sure that he's uncircumcised. It's not important why. Just... Okay. What if he asks me how many boyfriends you've had? Don't tell him the exact number, because that'd be quite a lot. Just tell him, uh... Man, this dude was rocking the halster before, and now he's got the Abercrombie and Fitch on. I don't want to know any of the details. It's okay. Okay, good. <laughs> he's here. Well, remember, Mom. Harry, uncut. Okay. Bye, Mom. I'm Janet. I'm Jeremy. Nice to meet you. So where are we going? Well, I love eating, so we're gonna go barbecue Mongolian style. Sounds great. Let's go. Okay. Jeremy's cute, but he doesn't look very hairy. <laughs> First son was a slut, second son was a prude. Hopefully this son will fit just right. Tell me something about your son. His name is Daniel and he's 18. Well, I picked Mongolian because my friends and I eat it every day after school. And we're gonna dress up like Mongolian people. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past this. I honestly would not put it past. We're gonna do Mongolian accents while we have this conversation as well. Is that cool? Uh -huh. And I thought we could do it in true Mongolian. Oh my God, I was right. Oh my God. <laughs> How the fuck? How is any of this okay? In couture. Good. I'm ready. What does Daniel look like? Well, he didn't want me to tell you like this, but he's six foot, ooh, eyes of blue, beautiful smile, and broad shoulders, too. Wow. He likes bars? Um, I'm sorry, bars? Guys with hair, and he likes the happy trail. Do you have a happy trail? I do. I oh, do have a happy boy. trail. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Oh, well, he will be finding his way down that trail. I wear big shoes, so do you think Daniel can handle that? Big shoes? Does that mean what I think it means? It means big cock, Janet. Now, what size of shoe do you wear? An 11 and a half. Oh, that's pretty big. What size does Daniel wear? 12 and a half. Hmm. <laughs> 12 and a half. Ooh. Is Daniel on MySpace? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh la la. The Mongolians, are they, do they just be throwing noodles right on the grill like that? That's sick. I gotta try that. Is Daniel on MySpace? He sure is. What's his MySpace like? Busy. He has a lot of hits on it. 
What does he have on his MySpace? He has a picture that I've seen of him holding his shirt up and showing his abs. Boys into MySpace? Don't get into MySpace. Where does he go to school? They just started writing absolute raps at the end of this. I guess the writers just got fucking bored. They're like, what is this garbage? Let's just start, let's just start off the dome, start writing some freestyles right now. He goes to our local college. He wants to be a math teacher. I like that. All right, well, let's go sit down and see how well we did. I hope I'm not making Daniel sound too dorky. <laughs> I really want you to try some tofu. Okay. Ever tried it before? No. Are you anxious to taste? I'm anxious. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, what is this Mongolian bullshit? <laughs> How have you never tried tofu, by the way? Is that, is that, was that not a thing that people ate back then? Maybe a smaller piece would have been better. So you ready to go? I sure am. All right. Jeremy's hot and he's got a happy trail. Daniel's gonna love him. <laughs> this dude is like the opposite of Harry. I had a really great time on our date. I did too, and I really hope you picked Daniel. I'll think about it. You better. Bye. Bye, Janet. I don't think Janet minded trying new things, and I might want to try some new things with her son. I don't know. Now it's time to make a decision. Mom, you're back. How did it go? It went really good. His name is Jeremy, and uh, we went. You're gonna love him. He has six hairs between his belly button and his ball sack. Which you said you wanted. You wanted that, right? You were looking for a hairy guy. Well, there you go. On a picnic, he cooked me some Mongolian barbecue food and got me to eat tofu. Fine. Is he Mongolian? Like. <laughs> No, he's not Mongolian. But you guys wore the head things that that's a little fucked up, right? Isn't that like kind of kind of fucked up? He's not Mongolian at all. Mm. You guys did accents the whole time too? Oh my god. It's horrible. He's hot. He's really hot. So he's good enough for me, right? <laughs> yeah, he's good enough for you. You would love to be seen out with him. He's got big feet. He told me he wears an 11 and a half and he wanted to know if you could handle it. I can handle it. So mom, like, how do you think we did? Do you think we're gonna win? Yeah, we are gonna win. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, I'm gonna treat this like a Jubilee video. Who do we think he's choosing? The last, this guy probably. <laughs> oh my God, dude, there's so many funny moments of this. <laughs> Look at his face in this. Dude. All right, just stand there and be natural. Okay, cool. You can breathe, dude. I brought everyone to the beach today to find out which son is the chosen one. Jeremy, good to see you. To find out which son I'm gonna be sucking on. Good to see you too, Diana. If Jeremy picks Josh, I know those two are gonna do some freaky shit together. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Holy fuck. What's up, Jeremy? Not much, Christine. Shoot, what these other mothers think they be? I got this. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too, Janet. I've seen these other sons, and they're not as cute as my Daniel. I usually don't care what women think about me, but I'm about to make two moms very upset. <laughs> the son! Diana, I had fun sharing a shake with you in the back seat of that vintage car. Even though we don't know whose it was. Right back at you. I had a great time. <laughs> Christine, I knew there was a bad girl in there somewhere. Thanks for such a memorable date. I had a great time. Janet? Wow, that was 
fucking I was totally expecting her to like bust out something again just like super horrible right there the Mongolian barbecue was great I was really impressed by your willingness to try something new well thank you I had a great time it's time to rain men let's go Diana I love that Josh is such a free spirit but I'm looking for something a little more meaningful I do not want to date your son big mistake Wait till you see what- He would have sucked your cock off your body. Did I say that? Did I already say that? You're missing out on. This is my gorgeous son, Josh. I am just the best. I am just the best. No wonder he ties everyone up. It's to keep him from running away. <laughs> what? Oh, I, I get it. Christine, I'm so glad Nick's going back to school, but I can't really get behind a guy who doesn't want to have sex. I do not want to date your son. You suck. Meet my bootylicious son, Nick. My bootylicious son? Oh my god. Meet my meth addict son. Looks like the no sex is not a choice. Janet, even though Daniel Cruz is my space, the fact that he's career minded really turns me on. I do want to date your son. All right, Jeremy, now you can meet my awesome son, Daniel. Fantastic! <laughs> you can tell, like, at the end of these takes. Fantastic! He's like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Are we done yet? <laughs> Fight Fight me. Me. My Jeremy! How do you think he looked? He looked really stupid. <laughs> I think Jeremy's secretly a bitch. But he can't handle a master like me. Oh my god, is that Jeff Goldblum? Can't handle a master like me. That is fucking Jeff Gold. That is a young Jeff Goldblum. Well done, Calissa Miller. Well done. Wow, that was fantastic. Fantastic. Excellent job. Simpler times back then. Simpler times. Thanks for watching. Click the like button on this forum. Thank you so much. Goodbye. I like the way you do that right, right, right. Swing it, swing it, walk it, let down your fur, down your fur. I like the way you do that right, right, right.